Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I just wanted to come and run my mouth for a quick second uh, before we get into the mess. Of course, I have to let the girls know that um, I'm selling merch, okay? Um, so check it out at www.rodneythevoice.com. Link will be in the description box. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the girls. <laughs> and 90210. It's a mess. Let me just say something before we get into it. And we, people, y'all already know what, what we're about to talk about. Garcelle and her sons and the viewers. And, okay, so this is the thing, right? Like, like I was having a conversation with my sister um, a few hours ago, my biological sister. And just like we said, girl, like, I get it. We, you know, are invested in some of these shows you know, some of us emotionally invest it right. It happens. It happens. As much as we may not want to admit it, it happens. Girl, we watch these TV shows, you know, these reality shows, you know, Potomac, Real Housewives of Potomac, Real Housewives of Atlanta, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, whatever you watch, Basketball Wives, Love and Hip Hop, whatever. And we get emotionally invested. And, you know, some of us start to go up for certain people. Some of us, you know, can't stand certain people. That's just what it is. For the life of me, I really don't understand how you feel that it is okay or you're justified in doing what you're doing by going to someone's Instagram page and leaving nasty, vile, disrespectful, unnecessary comments. It's a few people on reality TV that I don't like. Michael Darby, <laughs> okay? Half of the trifling men on my TV screen. A few women, y'all already know. But I have never went to their Instagram pages talking crazy. That's one. Number two, let's get into it. Okay, because y'all know I started talking. And girl, we'll be 15 minutes into the video and I still ain't got to the point. So let's just get to it. So, Garcelle Bouvet, who is a cast member of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, she has three sons. Uh, uh, two of her sons are twins. Um, some people decided to go to her son's page and leave nasty, 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 nasty comments. Um, I saw some people on online saying that these pages were fake. Um, even with that being said, even if the even if the pages were fake, the person that created those fake pages. They're real. That's how I look at it. Some people were saying, oh, it's just bots. You know, it, I believe that even if the pages were fake, it was somebody who probably sat behind a computer, uh, 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 an iPhone, and created these fake pages to say whatever they felt they wanted to say in that moment. That's how I look at it. I'm not going to go through all the things that were said. I will. Well, I'm going to read one. I saw this on All True T. This was this was actually the like the nat like just disgusting. Hold up, let me see. And I just had it. God, I just had it. Oh, here we go. Someone wrote. This is what someone told this boy. Now, mind you, her children, two two of her children are fourteen years old. You'd have your neck kneeled on if it weren't for your white daddy. Tell your mom to leave Diana alone or you'll deal with us. The common thread with a lot of these 
folks who left these comments or the person who was behind these leaving these comments, however you want to word it or say it, is that girl, they were all white women from what I see. Bravo has come out with a statement. Um, we are shocked and appalled at the social comments directed at Garcelle's son. We urge our viewers and social followers alike to refrain from targeting our cast and their families with harmful rhetoric. Can I say something before I say what I really want to say? No, I'm going to save that for later. I get everybody has their fans. I love Kenya more from Real Housewives of Atlanta. A lot of people up until this season couldn't stand the ground that Kenya Moore walked on. I never felt the need to go to anyone's page and just talk crazy because I like Kenya. And, you know, you probably left a comment that said you didn't like Kenya. I never felt the need to go threaten someone's child. I talk nasty to someone's child because you don't like Kenya. I mean, I like Kenya, but I don't like her that much to the point where girl. <laughs> but I'm going to be going to war for her. You know what I'm saying? I get that Erica Jane, Lisa Renna, Diane, Diana, whatever you want to call her. I don't even know, I don't even know the lady's name. I understand that they will, of course, say that they are not racist and that they can't control what people do. But I urge people to do this. If you have a following and your following looks as though it consists of folks who are racist, then you may want to take a deep dive into why these people are attracted to you, why these people are coming, coming out in droves to defend you, why are these people looking at you as someone that they like and love? Because we're going to have to just call a thing a thing. Racists usually love racist. <laughs> homophobes usually love other homophobes people who are anti-woman usually like people that are anti-woman right the manosphere those, got those people over there you see what I'm saying so I, 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 I would dare Lisa Renner, Erica Jane, and Diana to sit back, maybe have a cocktail, and do some deep thinking on why these folk feel the need to come out and defend you and look at the people that are defending you. So let's just say That they have every right, they have every right to defend you, right? They like you, they love you, whatever. But okay, look at the people though. Look at the comments that they're leaving. Look at what look at their go-to. Look at the fact that these could possibly be grown ass women talking like this to a child. And why are they so comfortable coming after this black child? biracial girl whatever black child right you know I used to go for Erica Jane that's not a secret I was low key going up for Lisa Renner because I thought Lisa, Ren Lisa Renner was a messy heifer and that was right up my alley you know I'm starting to realize that Lisa might not might not necessarily be my cup of tea um, she alright you know I'm not going to just be like girl I'm done with Lisa Renner but you know, I, I really want Andy. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Andy, 
if you don't get into Lisa Renner's ass, like you get into Candace's ass at the reunions, you know what I'm saying? Justifying why what happened to her season five happened to her pretty much. Saying that she was a disaster on Twitter. When girl, I have seen Lisa Renner in action on Twitter and she is hell on wheels. I'm going to wear your ass out on Twitter <laughs> in these reviews. I mean, he probably going to never see it, so he probably don't care. <laughs> and he's going to be like, who the hell is Rodney? <laughs> Some people know. <laughs> okay. It's a mess. It's a mess over there at Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I think one thing I have come to realize, the most toxic fans are one, drag race fans, toxic and racist. Two, the most toxic fans after drag race fans are housewife fans. One of the reasons why I never even wanted to review, I mean, RuPaul's Drag Race was because, baby, I don't know if y'all know how my mouth is set up, but them white queens and twinks over there, they be on some whole other shit, and I don't mind cussing now one of y'all, ooh. I don't mind cussing out now one of y'all, not over, no, over a drag queen. Girl, y'all going that hard over a drag queen. Girl, y'all are going that hard over a housewife. <laughs> Somebody who probably, girl, they, they <laughs> wouldn't pay you any attention if you went and they saw you walking down the street. And if you tried to run up to them, girl, they probably yell security. It's the viewers. The viewers play a lot into this mess. I think that we have to always remember that while, yes, this is reality TV. And some of this stuff is real. It's also an exaggeration of the truth. You see what I'm saying? It's a reason why the girls have producers. It's a reason why the show is produced. It's the reason why it's called a show. <laughs> While yes, this is reality, again, it's a show at the beginning and at the end of the day. So we have to take those things in account too. However, I think it's up to us to kind of find our way through the bullshit to see who is who, who is what, how these people actually move. Like Diana is a complete mess to me. I've been on her ass since episode one or two. Her, her person out, it's just, she can go. You see what I'm saying? To me, Lisa Renna, I can use Lisa Renna as an example. I thought Lisa Renna was just a bitch on TV. Right? Sometimes, believe it or not, a bitch can be a likable bitch. And I felt like Lisa Renna was like one of those likable bitches, right? Until I started realizing, like, Lisa, you might be a crazy bitch. <laughs> I know somebody going to bring Kenya up. People love Kenya. Portia don't like Kenya. And the, feeling, the feelings may be mutual. Nene might not like Kenya. Right? But for the most part, the girls have nothing but amazing things to say about Kenya. You see what I'm saying? Like, sometimes we have to look at it like, okay, girl, even though these are these folks on this show, are they giving us a show? Is this really who this person is, like, in real life? You see what I'm saying? I feel like Diana is a mess in real life. I'm starting to believe that Lisa Renna may be a mess in real life. <laughs> I can see the show going to Lisa Renna's head. Somebody said this. Who was it? It was another YouTuber, I think. What's your name? I know your name. I know your name. Who was it? I don't want to say it was you because, you know, I'd be, I'd be, I'd get people mixed up, girl. Somebody basically said that Lisa Renner was like the new Kelly Dodd. And ever since they said that on Twitter, I can't, I can't unsee it. I said, oh my God. <laughs> 
Anyway, let's go ahead and get into some other mess too over here. You know who, <laughs> girl, I hate to say this, but my good eye is on you too. <sighs> Cherie Zampino. Girl, what is you doing? Why are you posting a picture of you and Diana? All this mess is going on with Diana and Garcelle. Well, all this mess is going on with Diana versus Garcelle. Because Garcelle ain't thinking about Diana. All this mess is going on with your best friend. <laughs> or one of your good Judys. And you felt the need to post happy birthday to Diana. And this is the helper that your sister is beefing with. See, I don't be liking shit like that. Sheree, I'm about two seconds from being on your ass. But I'm going to give you a pass. I'm going to just say that Sheree woke up today and didn't know what the fuck was going on. But Sheree, I don't like it. I don't like it, Sheree. Sheree, whatever her name is. Cherie, don't fuck around. Don't fuck around and lose my vote. <laughs> like my vote matter. My good eye is on you. Cherie, Cherie, whatever your name is. I get her and she by Cherie from Atlanta confused her names. You know, of course, you can tell it sounds similar. Cherie, don't play. You ain't heard? You ain't heard what's been going on, Cherie? Why would you post happy birthday to happy birthday to you? Ooh, Diana. Diana, Cherie. Please don't be please please please, please don't be on my shit list. Please do not get on my shit list. I'm not saying that just because you're okay, because I know it sounds immature. I know it sounds immature. Because it's almost like saying because your friend have beef with another helper, then you can't be friends with her. I don't want to sound that way, but girl, based off what we've seen on social media, girl, I would assume that Cherie would not feel the need to post something like this, which in turn could make her kind of look crazy. Because girl, you probably just met Diana girl, just a few months ago when y'all started filming. Are you really that close with Diana to the point where you needed to go out of your way and post a public message wish wishing her happy birthday? You see what I'm saying? Like, are you really that close to Diana to the point where, girl, you need to go wish her happy birthday on social media? Because I feel like Cherie should have been like, girl, you beefing with the old girl. Like, okay, that ain't got nothing to do with me, but I'm not posting no happy birthday to that helper. And I know the stuff that's been going on on social media regarding her, you, your son. Yes, Diana probably didn't make the make these people post these messages about your son, but girl, these are fans of hers. Ooh, Cherie. Ooh, Cherie, girl. Girl, say, you better watch her. They say they say Cherie trying to come for Sudden Peach. Not Peach. Girl, you not say everybody got peaches. Girl, whatever. Atlanta's my favorite one. What, whatever they carry in diamonds, flutes, diamonds, girl, oranges, apples. I don't know, child. Whatever they hold in uh, Miami. Girl, what are they at? Beverly Hills. <laughs> oh, Jackie look good. I'm on all true tea. Baby, Jackie look good, baby. You know Jackie is my bitch. Jackie look good, baby. Shout out to Jackie. I heard she got demoted. I don't know. Demotions don't mean nothing to me. The only difference that it makes is your paycheck. But do, do, do friends of the show, if she is a friend of the show, which I think would be low-key fucked up if she was a friend of the show. I mean, I just got into New Jersey. 
But girl, after this woman opened up about her, you know, eating disorder last year, and then, and then y'all demote her. Jackie look good. Jackie like she gained about ten pounds. Mama looks good. Jackie and Marge, my favorite ones from New Jersey. I like Marge because Marge got a mouth on her, and Marge ain't stupid. You know, I go for the smart girls. And Jackie got a little mouth on her, too. Where is Toya going? <laughs> Toya, where are you going? Let me leave Toya alone. Oh, Sutton got a man. Son's got a man at home, and he's so good to me. Cause son got a man. <laughs> All right, son. Who is this, Sanya? Y'all don't like Sanya. I love Sanya. I ain't gonna say I love Sanya, but Sanya, I want Sanya to come back. Oh, Sanya look good. Oh, baby, the checks have cleared. <laughs> yes, come on, season two, bitch. Baby, Sanya look good. Baby, say you look good. Baby, say you look good. I'm glad they got a woman, like a thin woman. I know that sounds crazy. I get tired of seeing y'all big asses on TV. Every time I look at somebody got a big ass all on my TV screen in my face. I just want to see just a normal. <laughs> I'm happy they just got a normal woman with a normal body. Like, well, I be forgetting that. The, that's what I said when I first saw Sanya. I be forgetting that like thin women exist because I'm so I'm so used to seeing ass, 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 and more ass. <laughs> Every time I turn on my TV screen, ass just be in my face. So when I saw Sanya on the show on Real Housewives of Atlanta, like I was like so confused. Because we really don't see thin women, especially like, well, the white girls, of course, but like the black girls, honey, y'all will be this size with asses like Kim Kardashian. Competing, y'all, you probably already got ass to begin with, but you want more ass. On top of the ass you got, just ass everywhere. Anyways, child, I'm gone. That's all I think I had to say. Leave them kids alone. I hope Garcelle get to that reunion and girl, I know Garcelle not that type of girl, which I kind of like it because I know everybody doesn't need to be like NeNe Leakes and Kenya. You know, Garcelle going to take the rich, the rich white woman route, right? She's going to get to that reunion. She's going to cry. She's going to talk about how her, feel, how her feelings were hurt. She's going to talk about how her sons have suffered. She's going to talk about how they have been affected by the show. Girl, that's what Garcelle gonna do. Garcelle pull Garcelle gonna pull out all the stops, I can tell you. It ain't gonna be none of that, oh, I'm cussing Lisa and Diane out, and you need to check your fans and check your and all that. It ain't gonna be none of that. Garcelle gonna play the white woman card, <laughs> and I don't blame her low-key. Shout out to Garcelle. All right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all girls and boys later. Bye.